Hi, uh, this is a quick demo of the logs pipelines feature for Signos. Uh, we are in the logs explorer right now and I've instrumented a sample nginx uh, service uh, to send logs to Signos. By default, uh, the nginx logs look something like this, uh, where the body contains details like the user's IP address, uh, the timestamp, the path method, and the user agent and other details. What we want to get to is uh, parse all these attributes out of the text and into log attributes. This comes in very useful uh, if you want to, let's say, run aggregates or you know query logs more efficiently because these attributes are indexed and it's a lot faster than you know running queries on top of uh, you know full text search. And you can also like the aggregates are pretty much you know made possible with these attributes. And as you can see uh, in the final state, uh, these details should get you know parsed into attributes like you know the user agent, the referrer. And, and that'll allow us to run queries like, you, you know, we can, for instance, group by the user agent to see where our traffic has been coming from and other such details. Typically, logs processing happens uh, with a chain of pipelines uh, and every pipeline will typically be dedicated to a single responsibility. So as you can see, in this case, we have one pipeline that processes Nginx logs, another pipeline that processes application logs. And every pipeline uh, typically has a filter that specifies which logs it should process. And when that filter matches, then the, those logs get processed by that pipeline. A pipeline in itself is composed of a bunch of processors because uh, which pretty much which define what you want to do with the logs that come through. So for instance, in this case, when I have when I'm parsing my application logs, I want to parse attributes out of my text logs, and my text logs had serialized JSON at the end of them, and so I I further parse the extracted JSON string into its own attributes and and so on. So uh, uh, just to recap, every like logs processing happens through pipelines. Every pipeline is typically ded dedicated to a single responsibility or a single service, for example. And the way to implement a pipeline is to first specify a filter that you know identifies the logs that need to be processed and then specifies the exact processing that should be done for those logs. So up next, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, create a, an Nginx logs processing pipeline. I have deleted all pipelines that we had so that we can now go ahead and create a new Nginx parsing logs parsing pipeline. Uh, I'm gonna start doing that by clicking on new pipeline and I'm gonna give it a name. And I'm going to select a filter that targets the logs coming from our Nginx container. And as you can see, a nice uh, preview of the logs that would get filtered with this filter is also available to us. We can see what kind of logs come in. And yes, those are Nginx logs. So next I'll say create and I'll go ahead and add a processor. Uh, there's a whole uh, variety of processors that are available. Like the grog parser is a special case of regex parser. Uh, regex parser, as you might know, is used to uh, extract things out of a text. And then there's the JSON parser that can take serialized JSON and convert it into structured data and add, remove, move, copy. And uh, you can find a lot more detail about these processors in the documentation. So uh, right now I'm gonna go ahead and use a regex parser to get our attributes out of the Nginx logs. Uh, I'm gonna give it a name. And I have prepared this uh, regex from beforehand. And uh, what it does is it captures the various parts in the text logs that we have. So for instance, uh, the, this capture group, group for the remote address uh, will be passed into attributes dot remote underscore address. Uh, remote attributes dot remote underscore user will have the user, uh, you know, part of the text log and then time and so on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say create. And now that I have uh, this text logs processor ready, I can actually go ahead and preview what this is gonna look like if I were to save it. And uh, so here are some sample logs that have been queried out of our database uh, uh, that already exist. And these sample logs have a text body. And uh, if I go ahead and say simulate processing, uh, I can now see that the regex, uh, you know, pattern extracted all these attributes out, like body, byte, send, you know, HTTP referrer, HTTP user agent. These were all things uh, 
that we were capturing in our uh, regex that we use for uh, you know parsing the text log. So uh, that looks good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say save configuration. When I save a configuration, uh, I can go like it appears in the change history and uh, it'll be in progress and then it'll eventually be deployed as, it, as you can see it here. And now we can go ahead and check out our latest logs in the logs explorer. Uh, logs coming from our Nginx container. And as you can see, the latest logs have all the attributes passed out. And uh, we can go ahead and do our aggregation now. And we can see that uh, a bunch of our logs are coming from the Python request li library, a bunch of our Nginx requests, and uh, some others are coming from uh, Mozilla on Macintosh. So that's it. Uh, so just to recap, we went from having logs that were not parsed, uh, that had a body uh, which was plain text, to logs which had attributes parsed out of those text logs, and uh, which then allowed us to do efficient queries and aggregations on top. Thank you.